Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about CPU benchmarking. Uh, that's your central processing unit. And what benchmarking does is it sets a uniform test to compare how your CPU performs relative to uh, similar CPUs across the world uh, using a standard set of software. So one of my favorite ways to CPU benchmark is the uh, program called Prime95. It's available at mersan.org and this is the home of the uh, GIMPS project which is the uh, great internet Mersan Prime search and if you want to you can participate in that search. You can loan out your CPU cycles and uh, they will give you projects to perform to try to find the next Mersan Prime. And if you want to know what that is, I recommend you check out mersan.org. But I'm just going to be using Prime95 for benchmarking this CPU. Um, so I download the program. And I'm going to extract it. Uh, the program I'm in interested in is Prime95. We'll run it. Uh, it gives you the opportunity when you first run it to join GIMPs or to say just stress testing. I'm, gonna, I'm just stress testing right now. Uh, so it brings up this window to run a torture test. Uh, that will just basically run the benchmark for forever until you tell it to stop. Uh, I don't want to do that. I want to benchmark and get some results here. So I uh, go to uh, options and then benchmark. And once I click that, the benchmark is going to start. So you'll see. Uh, and basically, what this does is it runs some very complex mathematical calculations and tests records how long it takes to run those and uh, so you don't really want to do anything while this is running because it could affect the results uh, and you want to keep as little variables as possible so uh, you can see that uh, the results will be written to results.txt and I'll show you how to analyze your results uh, once this benchmark has completed. So we can watch the benchmark run. Um, actually I'm gonna slightly skew my results by opening up the task manager and show you what's happening. Uh, the CPU is completely pegged at 100 percent. and we'll just let this run. Um, this actually might take a while so I'm gonna pause the video while this completes and then show you how to analyze the results. Okay so the benchmarking has completed and as it said the timings were written to results.txt so I've opened that file and here are my numbers um, so let me minimize Prime95 and you can go to mersan.org uh, report benchmarks this address right here to compare your processor with other processors and it, you should note that the lower the number the better so how do I compare well um, the best processor, the uh, let's get this. One. Okay, so you have to compare each uh, stat with the comparable stat. So for the 1024K, which is this column right here, uh, the very best processor tested did it in 16.1 seconds. 
I managed 33.126 or 16.1 milliseconds I managed 33 uh, if you go down to the largest the 4096k it did it in 71 and I managed a 172 so as you can see my results are much much slower than this very fast processor so let's go down and see about where I rank keep going we'll go until we hit 33 so I'm right around uh, this Pentium 4 here which is actually exactly what this processor is um, so I got 33 and then 43 and then around 54 and then around 60 something and so these are very close to what I'm actually getting on mine uh, mine slightly slower since it's running in a virtual machine uh, but it's a very good representation of how well your CPU is running and uh, there are other benchmarking tools as well FutureMark makes uh, in addition to CPU benchmarking they make uh, GPU which is your video card benchmarking and then whole computer benchmarking so CPU RAM and uh, video card benchmarking tools uh, so that's uh, CPU benchmarking in a nutshell I recommend you check out Prime95 uh, it's an excellent tool to uh, use to test the stability of your system after trying to overclock uh, but if you have any questions or you know of a better tool uh, leave me a comment